Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. That's good. I'm about to settle in for the night, sleep in the car, I think, just so I can get started earlier tomorrow. But tonight I'm celebrating. Got my favorite beer here. I'm waiting for Joe to show up tomorrow morning. I took the sleep in the car approach. He's taking the waking up early to get here early approach. And it was a rough road to get in here, but I uh, saw lots of wildlife on the drive, some moose, sandhill cranes, uh, a coyote, a really nice coyote. So doing a super exciting route supposed to be good trout fishing, probably hardly ever paddled by canoeists. You can hear my Zolio going off. I'm just tech I messaged Joe and said that the access road is good. So, we're good to go. Cheers. Getting these messages through on this Zolio SATCOM device, it's just been invaluable already. I would have no way of, of telling him that the road is good, that we, I made it in. No signal here. We won't have signal for the duration of the trip. I'm getting weather updates. I'm getting messages from Joe and Aaron. Life's uncomplicated now. Just freedom, baby. Wasn't supposed to rain this evening, but that's why I always get a tarp up if there are any clouds at all quickly when I get to camp, because you never know. The spring peepers are singing their little hearts out, and it sounds so good. And I just can't, I can't wait for tomorrow. It's gonna be hard to sleep. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think it is hail. Yeah. So this route is a real wild card for us. We really have no idea what the condition of the route is, but there is a portage sign up ahead there, just past Joe's head. So that's we're promising. Yeah, it was about 200 meters. Yeah. Measured it. Nice. One down. God knows how many <laughs> left to go. So we came through on the other end. Beautiful little lake, big pond. It makes you want to stop here, doesn't it? <laughs> I can stay here. Yeah. Searching for the next portage. There are two ways of going from here. Either a long pond top with probably less portaging, but more in and out of the canoe. Or that way, and probably only two carries, 
through a larger pond, but don't see any signs yet, so we're just gonna prod around, poke our heads in. Hmm. I'm not feeling like this is... There, like another pond there, right? Yeah, but there's no sign. There's a big tree down here. I'm inclined to go peek at the other one. Check the other or do you one. want to hop out here I and see? I would prefer to hop out here and That's just true. Might quick. as well at least hop. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. All right. So there is a little trail there through to the next pond, but we're going to go check out the other one because it's a pretty nasty little slog to get over there. Okay, this looks like a trail. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a, uh, there's a flag up there, and up there, yep, beautiful. Fueling up before these portages. We have them marked on an old map, but no distances, and the map is very low resolution. Actually found the portage sign, but uh, no indication on it, but it looks decent. Okay, we're ready to go. Weather is just changing on a dime. It goes from hail to blue skies. Right now it's coming down pretty good. Listen, Listen to that. Man, it is wild out there too. <laughs> so we're on the second portage. It's in good shape. Doesn't look like it's used much, but someone is maintaining it and doing a really good job. Yeah, this section is nice to have these superfluous flags. Oh yeah. We see the flag. It doesn't look like a trail, but there's a flag. Bunch of portages oh, here early. Right yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Just a bit of an awkward takeout. Yeah, if this wasn't as bad as we thought, it looked like maybe 700 meters, but I feel like it was half that. And that's got to be it. Yeah, you think? Yeah. yeah. I think so, man. So. Beautiful. Nice. That wasn't bad at all. No, no. Just amazing pines. I am blown mm. away by all the pine. So scenic. Dude, you have no problem with the firewood this trip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or finding clear spots for your little tent. <laughs> right? A <laughs> footprint size of flat spot. <laughs> Still dry shoes. Yeah. That's ninja <laughs> level. Look how old this firewood is. Oh my goodness. Bone dry. Yeah. Oh man. Cool. cool wow. Cool. This is really well done. It's kind of bizarre. It's like, it's too precise. It's, uh, we'll take it. Stonehenge over here. Yeah. <laughs> just an incredible sight. What a day. Just needed a fish, but we got time for that. Well, we're here. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> oh. This is, yeah, top, to, top like three campsites right here. You, you, you probably have to be here to appreciate it properly. Like just beautiful woods all around us. There's a little outlet there leading into the lake. We're gonna fish it. Who knows, maybe we'll, we'll turn our fishing luck around today, right, right here. Flat spaces, amazing fire pit, unreal. We were saying like, some of these rocks are decent size. Like this, this would take two people to carry, I would think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So like, someone put a lot of work into this. And there's, go ahead. 
No, it's not junked up either. There's not a, not a speck of garbage actually, and the fire pit's overgrown. Yo, very much so. So it's it's not heavily used. <laughs> There's moss grown yeah. on the firewood in the fire pit. <laughs> Anywhere else, you get a, a campsite this good, it's gonna be in crown land. It's gonna be junked up. Yep. This is immaculate. Yeah, trees scarred up and bottles mm -hmm. broken and everything. There's nothing. There's not not a sign of people except for this right here and some cut wood. I feel like we found paradise. <laughs> Can't believe it. Paradise found. A little beaver down there. Eyeing us up. And slap his tail for us. This is my paradise. <laughs> Kapow! We're getting the camp set up here. Got my beloved Amok. Joe is in his one man. Big Agnes. And it looks like the weather's about to change again for the 50th time today. <laughs> but we're not complaining. We're loving it. Loop this line. Okay. Yeah. No, it might we might be able to get more slack, but loop take that loop mm -hmm. and put it through the tab. Okay. Through right. this, it's kind of messed like... up because the the lines oh, there. Oh, okay. But yeah, through that gotcha. exactly. Handy dandy. And then that toggle goes through that. Obviously, there's enough. Wow. Lovely. Yeah. I am the face of bushcraft. <laughs> Joe, who? <laughs> <laughs> All right. John Robinette. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, now since you're a pro, okay, I'll keep you, around, here, so. you do you do this other one too. There, pro. I don't know if I have enough slack in the line. Oh, okay. We'll we'll slack you up here real quick. Is there enough now or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh almost, yeah. Almost too much. <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing toggles since before you were born. <laughs> I toggled my, my crib together. <laughs> got our tarp up. Tent's all squared away. John's got his hammock going. We're gonna about to start the fire here. Look at that. No messing around. <laughs> that bad it's boy. Birch Park in a bic. Yeah. <laughs> the bees of camping. <laughs> this site is magic. Magic. Camp vibes through the roof. <laughs> Wow, look at that thing go. Cheers. Cheers, boy. Brought to two tall boys each, and they didn't make it till dinner, first day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day. It's just a practical thing to do. I don't want to portage them tomorrow, so. That would just be silly. No. Oh. Nonsense. Steaks are gonna go down heavenly. Do you want some chili flakes on yours? <laughs> I don't you're know, gonna, do I? You're gonna get them. <laughs> <laughs> and I some don't garlic. Think you can go wrong. I don't, oh, uh, garlic. Yeah, we'll put some garlic yeah. on there too. You don't mind my fingers in your food, do you, John? It's too late to care. <laughs> Perfect answer. <laughs> That's the answer I was looking for. <laughs> you haven't peed today, have you? Oh, you got a little oh, garnish man. of moss. <laughs> yes, leave it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, don't worry. Ruined. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Bam! It's like parsley. We're good now. <laughs> what we left out? Well, look at the amount of smoke. That's going to taste so good. Mm. You're pretty handsy with the fire. Pretty handsy with the fire. <laughs> We get so lucky <laughs> because we went through the bullshit last year. Yeah. We put our time in last year. I we think. earned this. Yeah, <laughs> not the steak, but this day. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, just how I like it. Oh, that's about perfect. Just a to little me too. pink. Yep, I have a fork somewhere. I swear I do. Not raw and wriggling. <laughs> 
Oh. I really should have waited for you, sorry. It's too good. I have a problem. You got no fork? Well, I do. I don't know where it is. I can offer you a spoon. <laughs> In true Joe fashion, we got it. We're good. Oh man. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The onions and the mm. peppers together. Oh, and the mushrooms. I can taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's perfect. Mm. If only Tripper was here to <laughs> mooch some of your steak. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. That's good. It's really good. Mm. Oh man. I said this last year, but I've never enjoyed fat so much mm. on the steak. Oh man. I remember. It's probably because I buy cheap steaks. <laughs> <laughs> last year though, it was more of a reward. Oh man, we earned those we, so bad. It was a slog getting in there, man. This one is just like cherry on top of a perfect day you that got was perfect that one was for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about i'll link it in the video here john and i last year did a slog like into some unknown lakes we didn't know what the heck was going on how far the portages would be and we had to bust through and like remember like the like the swampy parts like the, the skunk cabbage parts mm. <laughs> and in the pond we were deep in mud uh-huh it, we, we've collectively done a lot of portages, and those were the worst we've done. And the bugs were off the chain. They were peak level. Oh, peak man. level black flies. <laughs> oh, yeah, here it comes. On again, off again. Yeah. Northern Ontario, okay. Northern Ontario. Back to the snow. In 20 minutes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the little weather icon showed snow. And I was like, nah. <laughs> Crazy. I don't think I've ever had this this kind of snow on a canoe I, trip. I am right there with you. Wow. Look, look through my screen. It's unbelievable. It's just, it's a whiteout. It's a whiteout, yeah. <laughs> if you were driving, this is a whiteout for sure. Wow. Oh man, so beautiful. Living the life, boys. <laughs> Living the life over here. So. Yes, sir. That's perfect. Sandhill cranes in the background there. Just got to this little outlet by our campsite. We wanted to finish it, fish it yesterday, but the weather didn't cooperate. So we're got high hopes for it. 
this little outlet here on the river. It's hard to believe there's no bites beneath it. Got this little minnow bait, so I'm just popping along. This is scenic, eh? Oh, man. Little channel. Good amount of rock up here. Real pretty. It's a beaver lodge out in the middle of the bay there, eh? Nice, I didn't see it. Beautiful. You can pitch a tent right there. <laughs> That'd be pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah. Decent shore fishing. Right. Pretty Same good water nice. access. Oh, yeah. Interesting choice. Uh -huh. I like it. I like it. That is such a weird lodge. So small and conical. <laughs> it's my first day. I am beaver now. Sun just cracked through a bit, it feels really good. It's a very cool morning, very blustery as well. Just thinking, come on, we gotta get something. And there it is. It's gotta be a trout, it's pretty much the only option here, I think. Not too much fight yet, but a little weight. Yeah, the little minnow bait. Just starting to worry about our chances, man. That's very promising. There's a bit of weight, but not a, not a lot of fight. Very curious. It's not fighting like a trout, really, like a brookie or a, a laker. <laughs> Unless it's fouled. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, there's a stick there. I think I'm off of it, but my line was caught on it for a second. Holy crap, I had a lot of line out. All right, here it is. It's close. Laker, I think. Oh yeah. We're on the board, my friend. We're on the board. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, nice meaty Laker. Board. It's a nice lake trout. A little release. It was meaty, yeah. Not bad. Coming in for the show. Joe show, Joe Lake show. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I can see him. Amazing how quickly luck changes, eh? With the, with the change of a lure, <laughs> the change of luck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Come he's on, gonna Laker. fill that net. Another Laker. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Ah! <laughs> Oh, this is a great I'm gonna bring my. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh yeah! There he goes. <laughs> well, wow, yeah, that's a pretty fish, man. You're on the board. Yeah. Okay, we're not messing with this net no more. <laughs> yeah. We're almost at the portage. We're almost looking forward to it. The wind's gotten pretty bad. So Joe noticed this little trail off to a pond along the portage in the middle of the river. We're gonna put our boats in and give it a little fish. Here we go. It's really shallow. 
but worth a shot. There's a little trail over to the pond, so you gotta think there's a reason for that. Yeah, I think we're better off moving on, spending more time on the lakes upcoming because the next lake and the subsequent few lakes have rainbow trout potential. Unbelievable trails. Considering we had no idea and we figured we'd be doing a fair amount of bushwhacking, we're blown away. Joe still maintaining dry shoes into day two. Just off the trail, there's remnants of a cabin or something. Huh. Wow. Would have been the perfect size, eh? For just one or two people oh. living out of, here. Oh. The size of the timber they use too, like that's no joke. No, imagine getting that. Well, I'm, I'm assuming they got it locally and harvested it, and processed it here, but still amazing. Another beauty. That was an 11.50, that was a lot longer than the other ones we've done so far. But uh, not too bad, we're feeling it though. Early in the season, shoulders aren't worked in. Joe has hooked up. Saw a fish surface here before he even cast it. What do you have? Show me a speck. Oh my god. I saw color in that tail. That's a, uh, oh, it's a rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, it's a rainbow, buddy. Net, net. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. High pressure, high pressure. Oh, it's a beautiful rainbow. Beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful rainbow. <laughs> Double rainbow. Double rainbow. What does it mean? Oh, oh thank you. Oh, buddy. Brother. Oh, buddy. <laughs> or is it a... No, it's a rookie. Oh, it is. It's, it was That's so a monster. Fat. It was so fat. I thought it was a... Uh... What is the color under it? It looks it's... like... Yeah, it's got that iridescence of a rainbow. Oh my, that is a thick rookie, yeah, that's, buddy. That's a football. Do you uh, need pliers? Oh man. There we go. Pops nice. Well, is that your PB? Brookie? Like you had a good one already this year, but let's, that's let's thick. See. Oh, she's thick. This is thicker than mine. Uh, my the other one. It's the same length, but it's a thick Beauty, fish. Beauty, man. Oh my goodness. I'm happy. Beauty. I'm happy. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy back. But awesome fish. Super happy about it. Very nice fish. Congrats. Thank you. Beauty. What a fat. That rookie. I that. thought it was a rainbow. <laughs> Man, that just raises the stakes, eh? <laughs> oh, we're not blasting through this lake. No, sir. Look at what I got it on. This little tiny floating wrap. Thanks for the, the net help. Mm, yeah, no worries. When we were putting in at the end of the portage, I saw a ripple on the water. Oh, 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 I just got hit. I already lost one. I was about to say that. <laughs> I've already lost one. I only had it on for a fraction of a second, but yeah, good little spot. So we were excited to fish this spot after seeing that ripple and it delivered for Joe. What a beautiful speckle. Joe has himself a triple crown. Just got into a rainbow. Yeah. He's in my leg. Oh, hooked in? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I gotta keep them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Sorry. Oh no. It's okay. 
Yeah. So the keeper. Yeah. Oh, what a beauty rainbow. Buddy, you're on fire. What a day. Oh my god. That's oh a my gorgeous god. fish, man. Natural rainbow. Not many places you can find natural inland rainbows. Cut three of them in one day. Cut all three in one day. Laker, Brookie, and a rainbow. This could be one of the best fishing days of your life. Oh, it already is. It already is. <laughs> Not even because of the uh, amount. It's just quality. Okay. Let me shoot you over to shore. Please. So, it is a rainbow. <laughs> a little speck, I think. Not up to your standards, but... Oh, not even. It's just a lake trout. Oh, Embarrassing. Okay. But that's that's the triple crown right in this spot, eh? It is. Between the two of us. Yeah. I'm going to take this guy out. Just let him right, go right away. There he goes. Joe just dispatched that rainbow, which is his first rainbow trout ever, and a really special one. If you get a rainbow trout in Ontario, chances are it is not native, but this is a native population here. So that is a really special fish, which we're gonna enjoy gratefully tonight for dinner. And I ended up with two Lakers today. And if the worst person in your group has two lake trout, having a pretty good day. Just got tapped. There it is. Oh, no. Didn't get it. There it is. There it is. Oh, it's off. Dang, 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 dang. Fish on. A lot of head shakes on this one. I'm thinking Berkey. that rod tip low, actually in the water, so it can't jump. If I pull up on the rod, then it's gonna give it leverage to jump up in the air and spit the hook. Oh, yeah, rookie, I think. Oh, another beautiful brook. Three trout a piece. Oh, can't ask for anything more. Keeping the fish in the water there in the net so it can keep breathing. Wet my hands before I handle it. Oh, just gorgeous. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Just lost another one. Trolling. It's the one thing about trolling. You can lose fish because you're not holding the rod, you can't set the hook and control the tension. But your line's in the water so much more. It's absolutely worth it. You'll lose some, but you'll get fish that you never would have had the chance at, too. Got a speckle in the corner there. What? Got a speckle in the corner there. Nice. Looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, I think so, dude. Yeah. I think we're going to camp here tonight. It's the most sheltered we're going to be. Yeah, exactly. Especially for cooking, like the wind might die down for sleeping over there tonight, but for cooking, it'd be so much better here. Oh, wow. What is it? I am not sure. It's got two front fangs. Fangs? Or uh, pronounced teeth anyway. And then some grinders in the back. Oh, very dramatic scene here. The clouds and weather is just changing non-stop. Not sure what we're gonna get. Joe's setting up here on the point to get a flat spot for the tent. There's actually a picnic table here from the lodge, I'm sure. And it is old as time itself.
Joe's just butterflying the trout, trying to open it up so it cooks more evenly. If you don't, everything around the spine is pretty raw by the time the outer pieces are cooked. Speaking from experience. <laughs> Wind is gusting suddenly and it looks black. You can see it all around us actually. So, I'm just going to put a big log over the fire and that will kind of cover it up, act as a little roof while it still burns. We'll uh, take shelter for a minute. Scrambled the set up in here and just get under my, my hammock and my tarp because we didn't have one set up. Because uh, it started pouring and uh, there's all kinds of clouds around us so it's not too bad right now but we're expecting the worst. So the gist of it, make a split, get it down as far as you want. The fish is pretty big so we need the fish to split down a little ways. We've got our skewers. I'll have my lovely assistant hold this for me. <laughs> Big. <laughs> Pull that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worried I'm gonna crack. No, it I off, know. But... Yeah, it's a dangerous game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where is it? Yeah. How is it looking? Delicious. <laughs> we'll need a. Uh, Rock. Can, does this move? Can we move this, or yeah. is that too big? I think it'll move fine. Yeah, no, it's pretty easy actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No problem. Awesome, dude. Sweet. That looks like we, I, we're bushcrafting now. You know, I'm, I'm part of the club. <laughs> well, most of the great uh, pods are gone. There's some over there. We decided to add a side or actually an appetizer to this meal while we wait for it to cook. And what could be more gourmet to go with this rainbow trout than some craft dinner? Joe is on edge, just waiting for it. Get your pot. Yeah. Please look half small. Sweet, thank you. Yes. <laughs> That's plenty, that's no, plenty. No, that's plenty, dude. Thank you. Ooh, first cars. Sure. No, I'm okay. Joe doesn't ca take catch up. He's a bit of a caveman, so <laughs> I have to do it after doling out his share. <laughs> Refined palate over here. He did He did take to the offer of pepper and sriracha, so he's not without hope, but the no catch up thing is a red flag. <laughs> Ketchup is the lifeblood of KD. Does this come, does it come out of the tube or no? No, it oh, doesn't I was actually. Say, I didn't think. It's a total tease. It has this little spout, which does not work at all. <laughs> it's clean as a whistle in the spout, so it was a dead giveaway. Sriracha! <laughs> yeah. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Okay, we're calling this guy done. We're gonna dig in. 
and enjoy our feast. Oh yeah, she's fatty. Big one's yours. Big no, one's yours. No, yep. no, no, oh. no. Mr. Eight Pieces of Garlic Bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First bites. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Oh, mm. rainbow trout. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Like a bit of that smoky flavor. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh man. Really good. Almost like salmon. Mm-hmm. Much like salmon, yeah. I ate a lot of bones in that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is awesome. We're gonna devour this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so good.